Hello, and it's time for me to start work on a new project. So to start with, using an H pencil on a builder square, I'm just putting a bit of a border to the picture. Using a tape measure, I just put some rough marks on the paper just to give me an idea of the height, width, and a rough position of say something like the eye might be. If you want to do a larger piece of work, but you're afraid that you only have a small printer to print out the reference photograph, literally all you have to do is cut the picture into bits and print it out in sections. And then you can quite simply just sellotape them together and then that will give you the size of reference that you need. This is something that I used to do when I first started drawing. Starting with a blunt H pencil, I first start to sketch in the shape of the eye and then move on to the skin area below it. By using the pencil blunt, it won't scratch or indent the paper in any way. Also as well, this makes it very easy to make alterations or changes to the picture. And if any of the drawing does need to be removed, this can quite easily be done by the use of a putty eraser. For the last part of the eye, I just lightly sketch in the position of the pupil. If I need to check the distance or width of something, I can do this quite easily by using a piece of scrap paper like I'm doing here. With the eye, I'm just putting a couple of marks just to check the width. And then I can make any alterations that I need to. And if necessary, I could just then tidy this up with the putty rubber. Now the eye is done, I can move on to finishing off the basic outline of the picture. And then after that, I can then move on to the nose. As you can see here, I don't tend to solely work in one place. For example, with the nose, I'm working on the edge of the picture, on the corner of the nose, and also on the lower part of the nose. And eventually all the bits will join up together. And then I can slowly progress on to build up the rest of the picture.
So that's the initial drawing done and next time I'll start to work on the eye. As usual, links in the description below for the materials that I use. And if you have enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out. And hopefully see you next time.